If you want to upsell after payment, so on the thank you page, that is also called the order status page by Shopify. You select here, and you will see that upsell will be displayed based on the cart rules. The cart rules are settable inside this, cache, this section based on what is inside the cart or the amount that is inside the cart. For the purpose of this demo, I will only um, select always display and I will make sure to copy this code, copy to clipboard and to go to additional script section inside settings checkout. It used to scroll uh, to the right section. I don't know why Shopify disabled this, but you need to scroll down and look for additional script and you paste here what you just copied to clipboard. Uh, once you're done, that will enable the upsell to be displayed inside your store and also inside our setup tool. If you click here, it will open a fake or pass order. Of course, you need to have at least one order in your store. Otherwise, uh, you need to, to follow the instructions and create a draft order or create a real order. Uh, and then you will see a thank you page that looks like exactly like the real thank you page of Shopify. And you can uh, display the upsell inside, for example, a pop-up or inside a notification as a carousel or as a grid like that or you can also select a specific location inside theme but you need to be careful because for example this location this div order summary underscore section it, it doesn't exist on mobile so if you select this it might not um, be displayed on mobile it might look very great on desktop but you need to select some uh, div some sections that are uh, more careful more safe i would say so here right under uh, the store title for example i could insert it there i could also add it as a carousel like this so this looks nice and once i'm satisfied i click save and um well i cannot save because so let's say I want it like this. I click save. And this is enough uh, for uh, my setup. I mean, I could also add a title. This is for internal use. This is what is displayed for customers. Um, and this is a description and it also supports HTML. But if you want to test it, you put it to publish, you save changes, and then you go to orders. And inside orders, uh, you can click on more action and view order status page. So if you have a thank you page upsell with the cart rule that is always be displayed up to display always the, the, the upsell and not only based on if the cart contains product X or if the amount of the cart is a hundred percent, a hundred dollar or more, um, it, it should show on previous order even if the order was already made for example here it shows it won't work on previous order because of course I mean it's a previous order you have to make a real test a real test order uh, to test it for real but at least you will see how it looks and you will be able to play with it in another video I'll show you how it works with the feature that is called merging orders so that means to merge the main order so the test order in this case with the upsell order which is this order together in one single order that allows to skip the first two steps of the checkout and to ship only once then it also obviously allows to not charge shipping fees on the upsell order this is an option enabled by default i'll show you in another video how it works you can also disable it and create two separate order which mean the main order will be displayed in your orders here and the upsell order will be another different order so i hope this clarifies everything if you have any question or comment or suggestion please contact us